right as I was about to start this vlog, I just realized my credit card was in the middle thing in a rental car. Seems like a recipe for disaster. So welcome to the vlog. I am actually still in Seattle, so I'll have been here for a total of like a month, which I think in the last two years is a, probably the longest I've stayed here. I mean, we have a lot to catch up on, but there are a lot of reasons why I ended up staying in Seattle, but I actually was supposed to be in Montreal, Quebec right now, Canada. And this is like weird timing because I actually have a pre-filmed video coming talking all about like being a nomad for two years. So I don't even remember what I said in that video. Canada exists, you know? Like <laughs> why wasn't I thinking about Canada as an option, potential option to live? And I've been to Vancouver, honestly don't love it. <laughs> it reminds me of Seattle, but not as good. The areas that I saw wasn't a, wasn't a big fan and then Toronto I think is just like too much of a big city I know it's like way too much of a big city for what I'm going for at this point And so Montreal seemed like a good option and I'm not totally ruling it out for like in the future And I still definitely want to go and visit. I had everything booked I had the flights booked the place the Airbnb I was gonna stay booked and I was gonna be there for a couple weeks like fly Seattle to Montreal I'll be there for a couple weeks and then fly all the way back to San Diego for Thanksgiving and it just seemed like such a project right now that I am I'm exhausted <laughs> like I'm exhausted from all the traveling I feel like it's finally hitting me I still would definitely want to go to Montreal at some point but I just am not in the yeah, I'm not in the mood anymore. Like I'm just ready to pick a place and actually move and move my stuff, get a car, <laughs> like do all these things. I just feel ready, which is funny because like I said, I pre-filmed the other video, the two year video where I think I said I was, I mean, I don't even remember what I said, but I don't think I was ready, ready at that point. That was when I was in San Diego. The holidays and stuff are coming up. So I'm not gonna be moving before the holidays cause I'm gonna be in North Carolina and seeing family and in San Diego. So more on that later, but because I ended up staying in Seattle for a couple more weeks. I did end up getting a rental car. I think I talked about in the last vlog how freaking expensive Ubers and stuff were and are in Seattle. And when I first booked this trip, it was also the rental cars were wild. So I rechecked, you know, checking out the rental car on the next day, basically. And I got a really good deal, way cheaper than Ubers and Lyfts for here. So everything worked out. And I talked about in my travel hacks video, how even if you book a rental car with the free cancellation option, keep checking because the rates change all the time and you can cancel your first reservation and rebook for sometimes like hundreds of dollars less. But I need groceries and there is the nicest sprouts on, actually on Aurora, which if you know Seattle, those two words never usually go hand in hand, nice and Aurora, but there's a super nice brand new Sprouts there next to a really nice Home Goods as well. They are stocked up and also the Sprouts is just like so big, spread out, it's not stressful. I usually hate grocery shopping in store, but like I'm excited. That's how good it is. And I've got my my Waterloo spiced apple that I'm addicted to. I'm so obsessed with these that I could not find them anywhere in store, so I ordered them on Walmart. <laughs> Let's go grocery shop and get going. I'm actually on a different vlog camera right now. It's the Sony ZV E10, which I've shot a vlog on before. I think it was the North Carolina one, and I have a different lens on it now, and I can actually zoom, and it's super wide. I can even make it more wide right now, but I think that's what this whole vlog's gonna be shot on, so. I'll leave the exact camera and lens I have on it down below in case you're curious because I always like seeing like actual footage with different vlog cameras. I'll show you the zoom though. So that's as wide as it goes, which is 10 millimeter, which is super wide. So you can see like both sides of the car door and then I will zoom in and then zoomed in. This is holding it at the same spot. Back from Sprouts, quick haul. I got this salad that'll probably add, oh, I guess I didn't get chicken for that. I'll add something to that, more kale or something. Kale, I got, these were on sale and my mom loves these. 
So I'm gonna bring the Theo chocolate, this is a Seattle brand, garlic for, I'm gonna do that salmon recipe again that I showed in the San Diego vlog where it's like this uh, soy sauce and a bunch of stuff, the vinegar, all that. That was so good, you'd put it in the air fryer. Okay, this I am excited for, La Colombe Winter Toast. I like the packaging of that. Apples, tuna, eggs, sticky rice for that. Chobani, you know, I had to get the Chobani holiday creamer. Carb balance, I love these tortillas. If you want like low carb tortillas, these are the best. I got some chicken kebabs like pre-made just to stick in the air fryer. I thought that would be easy. Haven't tried this Goodles brand yet, but these were so good. The other one I showed in the other vlog. These are amazing. Also super good. Lebna dip. It was two, four, six or something. So I got two of them. Broccoli, probably will have with the salmon and stuff. And then wanted to try the Dave's. I can't remember if I've had these, but I'm in a bagel mood. And these are like, at least they have protein in them. Whipped cream cheese under there. So that's everything. And I forgot yogurt, but I'm still on my green apple yogurt kick. Don't you worry. Okay, as you can see, I've got my favorite polka dot box here, just laying on scissors, which means I did a little online thrifting on ThreadUp. Thanks to ThreadUp for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I've been thrifting since I was a teenager, so big fan of thrifting, especially when you can do it online on ThreadUp because you can sort by color, brand, size, it just makes shopping super fast, super easy. Everything that you potentially might like shows up if you know you love Nike or American Eagle, Abercrombie, they have so many different websites on there. And if you check out my link down below, first of all, you can get 40% off right now, 40% off. They usually give me a code for 30% off. So we love a 40% off discount with the code Taylor. But if you click the link down below, you can actually see I've gone through and like shopped kind of for you and favorited some of my favorite items that I found on there. But I'm gonna try on a few items. I don't even remember what I picked up this time. So this is fun. I'm hoping I got some jackets. I think I did. I packed like too much of things I'm not wearing and then not enough jackets and like warm stuff. So, oh, perfect. Jacket right on top. Oh my God, I'm remembering. I'm pretty sure this is Abercrombie. Yes, I found this Abercrombie jacket, which I've actually been eyeing. Like I remember when this was on their website and I was eyeing it. Excuse me, chair. Please fit, please fit. Oh, heck yeah, I'm speechless. Really hoping this fits because I remember when I saw this one on there and I don't have anything like this because Look at how long this is. Can you see how long this goes down? I was thinking this would be perfect for like over either like a sweater dress with leggings and some boots. I'm gonna switch cameras for a second. By the way, if you saw the camera thing, this is shot on my Fujifilm, this part. I'm gonna go film the try-on clips on my Sony that I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, just so if you're keeping track of the footage. I accidentally filmed this in slow-mo, so enjoy these nice slow-mo clips. But these Abercrombie jeans, the estimated original price was $83, and I got these for $17.99. Love the knee hole. They feel nice and thick. And then I picked up this Wild Fable sweater. This was so nice and cozy, like not itchy at all. And I feel like this is perfect for Thanksgiving and like fall, winter. This Bershka turtleneck. This made me want to buy more from Bershka because the material of this was so nice and soft. The estimated retail price is $29 and I got it for $14.99. This plaid jacket literally feels like I'm wearing a blanket. I'm obsessed with this. I love the blue in it because I don't have a lot of things with blue and I just literally could sleep in this thing. It's so cozy and also I feel like I could dress this up with like cute boots or just wear it day to day with like yoga pants. All right, well now I have many options for Friendsgiving. Let me know down below which one you think I should wear. I'm kind of leaning towards this outfit. I feel like super cozy maybe do this top with this jacket that's a look too so i'll have thread up link down below the code taylor will give you 40 percent off right now and again if you click that link you can shop kind of my favorites and some other products that i've picked out that maybe you might like okay so i'm prepping the salmon i hate chopping garlic more than anything i feel like garlic presses should be in everyone's household <laughs> but this is three cloves of garlic. I don't know, I kind of just eyeball all of these ingredients. Uh, good luck recreating it exactly, but this is like one of my favorite meals to make because it's so easy, it tastes amazing, has so much flavor, and it's incredibly fast. And if you're someone who hates to cook, like me, um, you really don't do anything. You just put it in a marinade and pop it in the air fryer. I just do the marinade in the Tupperware and then let it marinate in here but i usually do half like the day that i make it and then half the next day in the air fryer and the one the next day is always even more flavorful because it's just been like marinating longer but let me show you the ingredients so here's everything you need sriracha some either olive or avocado oil actually i've never used avocado oil i usually use a little olive oil but whatever 
uh, white vinegar, either soy sauce or aminos. I've also never used aminos with it. Normally use soy sauce, sesame oil, and honey. I think I'm remembering everything. And then at Sprouts, I asked them if they could take off the skin for me and they did. So that's pretty cool. I didn't, I've never done that. Usually I just like cut it off myself, but that makes it way easier. So I'm just gonna cube up the salmon and I'll show you kind of the ratios that I'm putting in. Okay, every time I've done this, I haven't measured and it seems to work out fine. I'm just gonna show you so you can see about how much I'm using in case you do wanna recreate this. Smells so good. I think I used more soy sauce this time or aminos. Local honey or like just, you know, raw, like real honey is so much better than bottled honey. It is true. You are on top of the honey. If you do buy it with the skin on, you'll just want to skin it yourself. And then when I was in San Diego, I actually made dog treats out of the salmon skin. You just put it in the air fryer and it's like safe and good for dogs has a bunch of omegas, but you definitely want to make sure you skin it before you're putting it in the air fryer because you want all sides to get like nice and toasty and brown. I just try to make it similar sizes, you know, of cubes. Literally, that's it. I'm going to throw it in the marinade, mix it up. Let it, what time? It's like 4.40 right now. So, I mean, I'm actually hungry right now, but I'm going to try and let it sit for a while. Put the other half in the air fryer tomorrow. I'm snacking on Stacy's pita chips with the Lebna dip. This is so good. It has a nice like kick to it. I just washed the cutting board, obviously, but I decided while I'm prepping stuff, I might as well. I've been doing some tofu just to have in a container for lunches and stuff. And it's just a good way to add just protein, something filling to whatever you're eating, a salad, whatever. Tofu, I've always like just not wanted to cook because there's a whole pressing stuff. You have to like, get the water out, press it with a plate for however long, whatever. Turns out you don't have to at all. It's actually so good. I'll show you exactly how I've been doing it. Uh, get the extra firm one. It's literally the easiest thing in the world. Don't do any of the prep stuff that like Google tells you. Not sure how this is gonna go if you don't have the extra firm kind. Just gonna cube it, don't press it, don't do anything. Okay, so I only like tofu if it's like very, not crispy, but kind of like that would be ideal, but just like browned and kind of more firm. I hate when it's like super soft. I'm just gonna use avocado oil spray and do like that much, that's it. Throw it in on like medium high heat. Tofu's cooking. I think I decided I'm actually gonna do broccoli in the air fryer tonight with fiery orange chicken. I got these skewers at Sprouts. I keep wanting to say Henry's because they used to be Henry's. And then let the salmon marinate overnight. I just leave it for longer than I think. Like once you start to see a little golden brown, then maybe stir it around, but just wait. Like, <clears throat> I mean, it's been at least five minutes now. So just really let it sit there before you start to stir it around. It's very loud right now because I have the bent on and the air fryer with the broccoli. Just threw it in the Tupperware, but here's the tofu for the week. Doesn't look like that much, but there's actually a ton just to throw in random stuff. Putting in the fridge together, but got the chicken done. Looking fantastic. Um, had a brutal migraine today. Um, just started feeling better like an hour ago, but I'm still trying to like loosen up my body. So I'm gonna get in the bath, but I wanted to show you, I haven't used these yet, but Dr. Teal's has limited edition scents right now. This is the vanilla one. Wait, did I get vanilla? Why did I think this was vanilla? Well, we'll see how it smells, but they also have a few different ones. I've got my Waterloo, of course, the Spiced Apple, and my Kindle, because the second book of Fourth Wing is out, Iron Flame. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I pre-ordered the ebook. I really want to get the holiday edition, like special edition with the black pages of both books. The only thing is, in order to download it, I'm gonna have to take my Kindle off airplane mode, which means I'm gonna lose literally eight Libby books that I had stacked up. <laughs> Libby gives you like the time limit, but if you put your Kindle in airplane mode, it still returns the book back so other people can borrow it, but it just keeps it on your device. So if you take your device out of airplane mode, that's when all the books get returned. It's a trade-off that I'm willing to make and start reading while I take a bath. 
my issue. I have so many good books in here right now. Look, I have Throne of Glass. Good as in like ones I really want to read because I haven't read them yet. Divine Rivals. I think I still have that one in there. I have Talking Strangers and Love Hypothesis. Don't really care about either of those, but I guess I, I'll just go back on the waiting list. Okay, I'm doing it. I am drooling. This smells so incredible. I like the salmon like browned like this on the edges. So this is like cooked perfectly to me, but you guys, when I tell you this is 10 out of 10, I'm gonna do it with some rice. I'm just gonna microwave this. I don't have cucumber, which I totally forgot to buy, but I really like it with cucumber. And if you have sesame seeds, and then if you want like a lot of flavor, you could also dip it into sriracha. But I usually cook it at 375 for around like seven to 10 minutes, I just kind of check it. All right, good morning. You're stacked on top of two candles. Nice tripod. I haven't been doing too hot. My neck injections are fully worn off now I get them in like a week and a half and I'm yeah I'm like barely functioning right now I took my leg shot this morning and was just like out of commission the last couple days so I'm hoping I'm at like a level of functioning enough today where it kind of stays off I have so much work to catch up on because I lost you know a few full days so now that I'm thinking about it I don't know if <laughs> anyone has noticed up until this point in this vlog, but I actually really plucked my eyebrows. Like I've been doing the bigger brow look for what, at least a year and a half now, I wanna say. I basically plucked them down to the natural, like not natural, but down to the brow tattooing that I still have on. It's been so many years and it's still hanging on there, but I basically plucked it down to that because I was looking at one of my older videos and I didn't love like the thinness of the brows. Like I'm still gonna, you know, overdraw them a bit. But what I liked is that they were thin enough to where I could bring it in further when I did my makeup and I liked the look that that gave. So that's what I'm gonna try to do is just bring my brows in a little bit further. They're obviously much thinner, but I still am gonna like shape them a little bit. Let's get going and try and get as much done as possible while I am vertical. Hell yeah for being vertical. If you were wondering, yes, I am still on my apple granola grind. I'm addicted. It's what I've had every day for breakfast for like weeks now. I used up my pharmacy night mask. This stuff is amazing. I've just been using it as a like moisturizer basically. Super moisturizing, it leaves your skin like really dewy and plump feeling. Definitely gonna repurchase this. And I think it goes on sale on Amazon pretty frequently. Okay, not trying to flash you here, but I'm just trying to get low enough. I'm getting ready to film a video that won't be up until the end of the month, but I just have to get it done now for like approval. So I've done this brow, haven't done this brow yet. I'm bringing it forward a little more and then you can see like added a little shape, but not nearly as thick as I did before. All I used on this brow so far is the Too Faced Brow Pencil and Espresso. I ordered a darker shade of my Joa one because I just, I repurchased this so many times. I think it's one of the best brow pencils and it's like 10 bucks from Amazon. But this shade Soft Brown, I've been using for the front of my brows. I do think it's a little like, it looks a little red. So I repurchased this one, but in, I think it was the shade Brunette, which I'm pretty sure is the one I used to use like just all over my brow. I'm doing that thing today where I've heated up my coffee literally 10 times. So I need to actually drink it this time. The spoolie on the gel pencil is so nice and stiff. This thing looks cute, but ugh. I think for the rest of eyes, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Matte 3 palette. So far I've been really liking this. I haven't been doing eye primer lately, which is a little unlike me, but I'm just gonna plop a little concealer on the lids. And the foundation I have on today, I did the Maybelline Superstay, but underneath I have on Lumi Glotion. And then on spots that I needed more coverage to cover up that redness, put on the Fenty foundation stick. This is in the shade six, and I like it because I can use it like in different ways. It's like an in-between shade for me. It's too dark for my fair skin, but when I do what I did and put the Lumi on my chest, it works and just add some coverage. I usually just put it on the center of my face and I really have been liking the way that that looks. I don't like it as much all over, but I actually really love it on top of other foundations. And anytime I put that one on is when I get comments about 
my foundation, like in videos. So that's interesting. I think I'm liking the brows, especially once I have the rest of my makeup on. Always looks a little different when you don't have any eye makeup on. Been liking starting with a mix of these two shades right here. This one has a really nice tone, it makes your eyes pop. I got in an Ulta order. Oh my God, life update. Forget about Ulta. You guys will care about this more. If you've followed me for any amount of time, you may have known I've never understood the Taylor Swift type. I haven't been into it, not my thing, like just not a Swifty, okay? In the last, I wanna say like two months, I wouldn't say I'm a Swifty, I'm definitely not a Swifty still. However, I am a folklore gal. Since seeing the footage of her concerts, you hear the live version and it just gives you a totally different image of the entire song. That's how I felt about like a few Taylor Swift songs where just like seeing people's excitement and hearing the live version, I don't know, like Miss Americana. The video of the little boy crying to that song made me love that song. I don't know, there were just like a few songs where I heard the live version and I was like, wait a minute, I could get down with this. So I posted a few songs that I really liked on Instagram stories and a lot of you guys were like freaking out and sending me recommendations based on the songs that I liked. And you are right, I am, yep, Folklore is my jam. I feel like I like the most songs from Taylor Swift from the Folklore album, but I'm gonna pop in some of my favorites right here. So if you're not a Taylor Swift fan and you, you wanna like see what it's about, maybe you'll like these recommendations. I don't know, obviously everyone has different tastes, but these are the ones that I really like. And here's the other thing I've noticed. To me, a lot of her songs on the first listen just sound the same. Like a lot of them have the same exact kind of sound to me. And I almost never like one of her songs on the first listen. It's like the third, fourth, fifth listen where I'm like, oh, I get the hype. And a lot of times in her songs, like the best parts come in the last fourth of the song. I definitely have like 10 songs that I've had on repeat now. <laughs> There's still a lot of hers that I'm like, it just sounds a little, it's just not my thing, but I get, I get it more for sure. A couple of my favorites right now are Cardigan from Folklore, The One from Folklore. Oh, My Tears Ricochet. Okay, that's like definitely in my, my top three for sure. Maroon. Miss Americana. None of those did it for me on the first listen. It was really after I like kept listening to them and just kind of like had them on repeat where now I'm now I'm into it and I'm like voluntarily putting on Taylor Swift, which <laughs> never, never used to be the case. There's that. Thought that was an important update for a lot of you. I've been loving smudging the black. The black in here is really nice. I've been liking smudging the black with the brown and just doing like a little kind of flick or sometimes just the darkest brown. I have had no time to read fourth wing because like i said in the in the moments that i'm awake right now i'm trying to film and get work done so i not fourth wing iron flame haven't quite gotten there yet so i doubt i'll finish it in this vlog but definitely check my instagram stories because i update you guys over there what i think of books and like my rating i'm gonna finish up my makeup and film that other video and i actually I have that video to film and then i have a portion of another video to film and then I need to start editing that and possibly film another Instagram thing if I have time. But I have an appointment at 4 o'clock, which means I have to leave here at like 3.30ish, 3.25 to get there in time. And then actually I have a busy day if I can stay functioning for all of it, which is why this morning I just like popped the shot first thing. So I'm like, I need it. I need this day. So I have my neck appointment at 4. Then I'm supposed to walk for an hour before I meet up with my friend for dinner. And we're going to this Italian restaurant called, I think it's called Cafe Lago. Neither of us have been there yet. I think it's in Capillaria. All right, I haven't done my lips or lashes yet. I think I'm gonna put on the Ardell, these ones. But I wanted to show you, this is my obsession. Uh, I've been using it every single time I do my hair. It has a long barrel, perfect size. It holds well. I haven't done it for a few days, which is why my hair looks like this. But I just brushed it out and this is how I touch it up. If you just want like, literally three minute hair. I just take like a huge chunk just to make it fast. Because this barrel is so long, you can do this like because it's not wrapping over itself so many times like on a normal barrel length. You get this beautiful big like bouncy curl. I just go over the top a few times just to, so there's not any like kinks right there like almost flattening it. And then now I'm gonna go the other way. I'll have the exact size listed down below in the description box because they make different ones. It's also sunny today for the first time in a few days, which is 
makes such a difference. This isn't my favorite, it's just the Chi Keratin Flex Finish. I like it, it, but it's not like, I wouldn't recommend you go buy it kind of thing. I just kind of pull it apart as I hairspray it. It's gonna basically continue to fall like over the next few minutes, but then it kind of just stays in like a good wave. One video down, I feel so much better that at least I got that done today. This necklace was actually from Walmart. It looks nice but it's actually like pretty, it's pretty cheap and like super lightweight, but I actually like that because when necklaces are really heavy, it can kind of like bother my neck sometimes. So I like that it's really light, but just warning you, I think it was like 10 bucks. So it, I mean, it's definitely like cheap. Here it is in this light so you can tell. So gonna get the second thing filmed and also start some laundry, but I guess I can't start laundry until that's filmed because of the sound. So the rest of this vlog, I'm gonna be back on my normal Fujifilm camera, which I'm filming on right now. It's not a vlog camera, just like, if you're trying to compare them, the X-T4 is definitely a bigger, like bulky, I mean, the setup is big, but I just love the quality. I think it just looks incredible. And I'm remembering why I don't love this camera. I love Sony. Sony and Fujifilm make my favorite cameras, and I love the Sony ZV-1, I still think is, the best vlog camera like it's compact it's small it looks really crisp and really like smooth so i feel like if you're in the market for a vlog camera the zv1 is my recommendation still the e10 i'm remembering why i don't love this one i was looking back on the footage of all of the stuff i've shot for this vlog and it sharpens it like if you don't have the skin smoothing thing turned on it almost sharpens the footage too much and i actually turned down the sharpness so i actually love the zv1 way more than the E10, so if you've been debating, I would just say go with the original ZV-1. And the lens I had on is the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter. Just a camera update. But Sony makes some amazing cameras, like the Sony A7S III is what I shot my sit-down videos on for years, the ZV-1, still a favorite. So anyways, I'm gonna pack a little makeup because I'm trying to decide, I leave in like an hour. I'm gonna be face down, so my makeup's probably gonna get messed up. This bag, I love. I got this on YesStyle, it's like quilted. It's super nice and lightweight, so easy to travel with. And I just like that it's like the perfect size where I can fit my laptop, but also just is like a good everything bag. And I just throw my Dagny Dover in here so that I don't have to like switch over my cards and everything and like I have my meds in here. Deodorant, it smells incredible. I mean, it smells like this whole De Janeiro. This is like a cooling stuff. This is a repurchase. I love this stuff. Just like a cooling sensation, like biofreeze, but better. just got back from dinner with my friend Jerome. We went to Musang, I think that's how you say it. It's a Filipino restaurant in Seattle and it's like one of the most popular restaurants right now. We went really early because you have to get a reservation like, I think like weeks ahead of time if you want like a normal dinner time. But if you get there around like five, at least today it was pretty empty. We had like a 4.30 reservation, but there was so much traffic. So I was a little late. I wore my jacket there. I have it on just with leggings and then a little like turtleneck thing. This was the thread up jacket. So comfy and cozy. I actually got a compliment on it. When I got home, I just ended these packages. I ordered these phone cases off 
Amazon. It's a little ring thing. It got the green color to match the case. I'm just kind of, I'm not loving the this case setup. Let's put on my new case. It says like the same thing that Case Device says. It says drop test certified. It was cheaper than Case Defy and it's MagSafe compatible. I just thought the little sparkles were so cute for the holidays. It looks like cute and festive. And then this thing is a MagSafe. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so you don't actually have to stick this on. It just magnifies using the MagSafe magnet. And it came in like blue, purple. Oh, this is a perfect color. Look at this. I think that's gonna be really good. So you don't have to keep it on all the time. You can just magnify it when you want it on to use as like the ring either holder or stand thing. Cause I do use that all the time. The stand, I like to watch videos like that. It's the Sonics brand. Actually, I think I used to have one of the Tortoise Sonics cases now that I'm thinking about it. Cute. Wait, I love this. This looks very festive. Should I clean this first? Here she is. I love it. Let's see. I've never used, I've never used any of the MagSafe. Oh, there it is. Okay. This spot, I just got on the right spot. Very magnetic now. Now it's not budging. I'm in love with this combo. So now you can hold it like that, carry your phone, and then also set it to watch something. Yep, it stays up. I'm so excited about this. I keep showing you, but I just need you to appreciate it. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything I always talk about vlogs is linked down below and I pin a comment with the description box too. But again, you can check out ThreadUp at the link down below. Get some comfy jackets, all your winter needs, and you can get 40% off your first order with the link down below and the code is Taylor. I just realized I had some kind of a sticker stuck to me this whole time. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.